Welcome back, guys, to another day in the garage. Today, I uh, want to get the back seat out of the car and start sewing it up. So I got my mom's kit right here. Um, she said in my room, there's a little tin can box that has everything you need. Well, let's see. Here's some uh, needle, some thick looking scary stuff. We got some black threads from my dad's uh, sewing machine because I am not going to be using orange or pink on that fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the seats out now and uh, while I still got some daylight and I only have this light on me today because all my other snap-on lights are packed up. So I know in a couple of my videos people were telling me, oh, there are three car scent things right here in my CRX that one is not enough that I had to get three. Yes, true, there are three in here, but they are still brand new. There weren't, they weren't even open, so <laughs> for those who were wondering why I had more than one, it's because I bought them to throw into the other cars, but just never really got around to putting them in the other cars. So this would be a good opportunity to put a brand new one in this car after all the cleaning I've done. So crack this open. When I have the door shut tomorrow or whenever I get back into this car, smell it. It should smell good next time I come in here. So full on blast, toss this. This is one thing I did not like about this car. It's not adjustable. So, see that? My thunder thighs, or fat thighs, whichever you guys prefer to call it, get stuck oh, on the steering wheel. So, that is not a plus. Now, let's get to pulling out these back seats. It's pretty filthy in here as far as the lower seat. Um, not sure where all that water came from. I know I had that window open, but I am not going to take a whiff of that. Um, I'm probably going to soak this and like really scrub it clean with fabric cleaner uh, when I finish sewing it all together. I'm probably better off buying a new back seat anyways, but you know what? The wallet says no. Um, so when I let my brother take the suspension out of here because his car was blown, he did a real half-assed job of taking off my back seat, which I am pretty upset about. Instead of taking off the 10 mil bolt that's right here in the middle. Um, oh wow, the foam is all jacked up too. Right there. I guess he just kind of pulled the shit out of the seat and bend the whole bracket so it's like not even sitting straight anymore but yay so when taking off that center bolt um there is also 110 right here under the seat belt on both sides i'm not used to seeing this one because my car was 91 which us uh, which has like a little i don't know if you can see it right there 91 we have a lock in the back and then the seat actually swivels forward like so um, This one is fixed in place. So one on the side one in the middle one in the end 10 millimeter bolts then Backseat comes. Oh my god. This shit's so nasty So upon further inspection um, There is this blue cloth looking thing right here before the actual fabric um, and this whole left section right here does not have it so that means it has probably ripped off got brittle and tore apart over the years so what I'm probably going to do is after I finish sewing all the seams right here together I'm um, I'm probably just gonna put zip ties and pull this all the way down to this uh, metal rod because it doesn't have this to hold on to temporarily fix until 
I find another back seat or if the new owner just buys it without even worrying about it. So I'm gonna get started on this back portion before I work my way to that nasty one inside the car. Damn. All right, so so I'm keeping this very simple. I have no idea what size um, needle this is, but I have um, like I looped in the hole and back out to double the string up. And I've done just this section right here has been 30 goddamn minutes. <clears throat> I think this is gonna take a lot longer to do. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just doing a uh, in and you know back out. So in, out, in, out. You can do like the over style. I don't know the correct terminology because I don't sew for a living. You can see how, I'm, see how I went in and then I came back in the other way. You can do the over where you go in and then you continue going in on the same side, looping the string, this, looping this thread over the fabric like this to uh, strengthen it. I'm gonna do a quick example of that and uh, show you how it looks like. Again, I don't think there's a wrong way to do this. There's just one way to do it and then the right way to do it. You know what? Depending on how far I get tonight, I might go to the junkyard tomorrow um, after the NorCal CRX owners meet and because uh, it's on the way back home anyways because I'll cross the junkyard before another 20 miles before I get home and I looked it up on uh, pickandpool.com and rear seats in sections cloth it's $20.99 and wait I, I don't even have money but it's $20.99 each section so given that this is a top and bottom bench style it's probably going to be about 50 bucks if not more environmental bullshit tax bullshit core bullshit um but there's only one blue sedan here as mentioned before uh 20 miles from me and it is an 88 so i'm praying it has better seats or at least the bottom one and i might snag that with um Probably gonna have to work overtime at the corner tonight to uh, make the extra cash so I can buy some rear seats if they are in good condition. So. Still got this half. Still got all of this. But it's coming along. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this bottom portion right here yet. Might just zip tie it. Anyways, guys, so I decided to go to the junkyard today. Um, after the CRX meet. <laughs> so I'm here for the back seat and um, it's fairly clean. The back one, the, I, I mean, I salvaged the one that I was sewing, but this one's a ton cleaner. So I might snag the back because there's no rips. I want the bottom, but obviously you can see that it's, it's all torn up right here and right there. But overall, really clean opposed to the one that's currently in my car. So I think, you know, no brainer. I am probably just gonna pull the top and the bottom seat and just purchase that with uh, credit or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and uh, get on my way because they're open for about another 45 minutes. And the radio plug, hey. There's some Rota C8s right here. Some Jag DR23s right here. So like the spoon reps. But this one is the Rota Slipstream. Because you can see the, the line mark in between the spokes right here. And then the other C8 is right there. If there was a set of these, shit, I would definitely snag these motherfuckers. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so. You know, I'm a hungry guy, so. Alright, so I got my seats. Um, about to go to the register and pay for that. I'm very curious on how much they're going to charge me this time. Look at this EM window. Like, somebody set it on fire because gas cap is still in there. Um, but the whole back half is lit on fire. But check this out. There was a tool set in the car and the lid melted itself onto the drill set. Looks like a DeWalt. Yeah. Uh, it is a DeWalt. It's got two batteries, a charge, and man, that's unfortunate. But we got to get on out of here. All right, guys, so it's like several days later um, since the junkyard run. And um, today I'm going to continue 
working on the back seat on the car. This one's a lot cleaner, a little bit of stitching I gotta do. But first, gotta run some errands. Dingleberry hit me back up and he was like, oh, I want my S2K dash converted back, blah, 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 blah. You know, kind of upset about it, but you know what? Don't fuck with people like that no more. So I'm gonna ship this back to the guy who gave it to me. Be over with that deal. Car is not going anywhere until next season anyways, so fuck it. USPS we go. So I had to take a little break from the uh, sedan and um, had somebody come pick up my carbon fiber hood that I am finally letting go because, you know, I'm hoarding items that I don't even use. It looks really great on the new owner's car given that he has the black ascent, the black wheels and everything on here, so it kind of flows really well. Um, this car is definitely going to make a, an appearance on the channel soon because we're going to be working on um, paint correction on the roof as well as painting the sunroof plug. But what is throwing me off right now is his front brakes are stock SIs. I don't know if you can see it through the slipstreams. But his rotor is a lot bigger than the one that's on my car the way I bought it. I've never touched a rotor or anything of that nature, but you can see the dust shield. It's, it's, it's appearing a lot more than the rotor. What it looks like is the rotor is the same as the rear, just put in the front. So I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. Maybe it'd be a good time to upgrade my brakes finally, especially if I'm gonna be making 500 plus. This this back seat fabric right here was the one that I was sewing. Um, took me quite some time to get as far as I did. I pretty much did all of that. And I did this one, this one, I did this one right here. I never got around to finishing, which side is it? I never got around to finishing this one right here. I also did this right here. You can see the, the, the two different color of blue. This back seat was too damaged to uh, try and save because you see this blue fabric right here this is all that's left of it on the sides and on the bottom you see right here this is supposed to go all the way across and there is nothing on this end um, this is the bottom I've just taken it out and you can see how disgusting this is right this is the back seat from the junkyard. Definitely a lot cleaner. Um, just gotta sew this up right here, which is not a big deal. Gotta sew this one right here, also not a big deal. This side is fairly clean. We we'll give it a nice scrub. Back seat is really, really clean. This is like slowly coming apart. Um, this one doesn't need that much of a cleaning, but I might just run some wet towel over it to kind of pick up whatever dirt and grime it has picked up from the junkyard. Back is fairly clean, everything is intact. So, giving up on that, it's too disgusting. Clean this one up and install these two in the car. I'm not gonna show you the so I'm not gonna show you the sewing process because um, I've already showed you guys enough on that one. So, I'm gonna get to doing this ASAP. So instead of attempting to try to patch the uh, fabric from the outside, which will look um, pretty ugly given the fact that the threads will be on the uh, top side where you can see it, I just went ahead and spent a little extra time to pull the clips off the, uh, the rod of the skeleton of the seat and patching it from the inside. This one right here, I've already done about four inches right here. And you can see it's like seamed shut as it is OEM, uh, except <laughs> except that. But um, definitely button up this right here. Then I got to do that end right here. And then uh, give this a nice wash before I put this back in the car. And then I'm going to do the same for the rear section up there. Ladies, if you are dating your man and he doesn't know how to sew, you're dating the wrong person. Just playing guys. Um, so this right here, nicely sewed up. Same goes for this guy right here. Now I'm gonna give this a nice scrub. Um, I don't feel like pulling the whole 
uh, cloth off the foam to give it a deeper wash because those little clips were definitely uh, a pain in my ass to uh, try to put back on but they are all back on so is the one in the middle so that way it doesn't you know flop up and down right here in the center but I'm gonna give it a nice scrub get this kind of loosened up because it's pretty pretty firm I shouldn't be touching that it might even be blood or someone's period I don't know but <laughs> Yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to the back portion and try to salvage the two tear that's on the top. So the top portion of uh, the rear seat, uh, top half, has a slit right there, about three inches. This one's about four or five. And then I just saw this one over here. That's about probably three inches as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take off the rings off the uh, um the skeleton right here just this top half only so i can flip it over and then sew these shut hopefully within an hour or so this should be done and buttoned back up and um give that a scrub to let it dry up until tomorrow and put it into the car so nicely done there nicely done there and nicely done there fabric is back on the cushion and all of the clips are um, back in the place and um, tomorrow I'll continue this video because super dark is kind of not the right time to really mess with water right now because I'll probably get sick um, but I know this has been an ongoing <laughs> several days on trying to button up the back interior but it is definitely done um, I'm just gonna clean it tomorrow and then uh, first thing in the morning, um, you know, scrub it down, dry it, probably hair dry it or some shit, and then I'm gonna install it in the car and um, show you the final result. So I'll see you tomorrow. Look at all that, look at all that orangeness on it. Holy shit. I don't have a pressure washer, so I'm hand scrubbing this. Oh, look at that, it just disappeared. Look at that. You guys can clearly see how much more cleaner it is after all the scrubbing. I shot it down with the water hose. Accidentally ripped this portion, so I'm sewing this up as well, but as soon as I'm done with this, and this is somewhat dry, I'll put it in the car. Probably the worst idea to use an electric hair dryer next to all of these water But it is fairly dry um, I used the vacuum my shop vacuum to suck up Majority majority of the water off the seat fabric cloth and a little bit on the foam side I wasn't sure if this was absorbent or not, but um, there's still a little bit of water in here, which I'm sure it will dry over time but I'm using at least so I'm using the hair dryer to at least dry up the fabric and uh, get the fabric to be nice and uh, you know dry before I throw it inside the car. I've already vacuumed the inside. The seat is uh, mostly done, so within a few more minutes, we'll get it in the car. And a couple hours later, we are done. Interior is back in the car. I got caught watching um, the series on Discovery Channel, finding uh, Escobar's millions or some shit like that, I don't know. But, got the interior installed into the car. Looks a million buck better, other than whatever the hell that is. Back seat is dry. Um, had to do a lot of cleaning on the buckles because they were pretty sticky and it had some like 
stuff gunked up in this one where I couldn't adjust the belt. But it is all clean, reinstalled, all bolts are back in place. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for uh, this video. Really, um, took like a week to, you know, try to sew it, try to source one in the yard, repair the cloth. Um, the one in the back, I'm probably gonna make like a little, I don't know, bed or a, or a house for my cat or some. Um, Cause my cat, he he's a inside outside cat. Most of the time he's inside, but uh, he always like meow meow bitch let me out. So I let him out and he stays out here with his other family. So I want to take a quick second to give a quick shout out to some of the channels that I follow and some of the channels that has been helping me along the way of uh, certain things, you know. Um, First and foremost, Hayden, he runs the Suicide CRX YouTube channel and uh, he's a fabricator so he's been uh, helping me with like, you know, with my um, self-taught process of how to weld and how to better myself in welding. He gave me a shout out and I truly appreciate it, man. If you guys want to check out some of his, um, he had a CRX before. If you guys want to check out like an LS1 Twin Turbo RX-7 first gen, be sure to check out Suicide CRX's channel. I'll have his uh, link in the description below. Um, great guy, great build. eBay Leroy. That's going to start some shit. But um, definitely want to recap on the guys that collaborated with out there in the uh, Chronicles. Um, it's definitely a great um, opportunity to finally meet some of the guys that ran some of the channels that I do enjoy watching. Mark from Honda Street Garage. Tommy from La Tommy. La Chris Sadowski, exactly how his name is on his channel. Um, who else was I collaborating? I'll, I'll give a shout out to Broke Boys because I spoke to them out there, but I didn't really like collaborate collaborate with them too much. But um, they push out some pretty cool contents too. Um, those guys and uh, a few other channels that I follow. Um, Sketchy Da White. He's a funny ass, intelligent motherfucker. I love the fact that uh, <laughs> I love the way he puts his video together. It's so it's so enjoyable to watch, man. White, if you're watching this, man, kudos to you, bro. I love your shit, man. Um, there's a lot of channels that I can give shout outs to. You know, I watch like Adam LZ, Motion Auto TV, Hagger Garage, believe it or not. Uh, Jim Yokes, love his shit. Um, Tommy, yeah. Uh, Rice Miata, fuck, I, I can't keep up with his shit, bro. It's, it's, <laughs> fucking A. Um, anyways, um, probably gonna do some random shout outs and throw out my other videos and stuff like that. Russia, I know you're watching, bro, and I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody that watches my shit outside of the uh, country, like um, Europe and so on and so forth. I appreciate you guys' support for real. Um, but, anyways, quit all my ranting and shit. The car is almost done. It's almost ready to go. Um, it's going to be sad, but you know what? I have other projects to uh, arise for next season. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see some more EF stuff, obviously, please subscribe. And I would definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace.